Uh, I think we're, we're going to have an incredible Cybertruck product for you next year. Um, it's going to blow your mind. And uh, yeah. So. Yeah, there is no other truck. Are you part of the one and a half million reservations waiting for the highly anticipated Cybertruck? It can be said that this electric pickup is the most sought after model. Recently, Elon Musk came up with a crazy plan to produce millions of Cybertrucks. This unique car is a chess piece in Tesla's grand scheme that will help it make huge profits next year. So, how will this plan work? Find out in today's episode of Star Tech. Welcome to Star Tech. Before we begin, a huge shout out to our supporters for continuing the effort and motivating us to create these videos. We thank you so much, and if you're not yet familiar with us, then please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to stay up to date on the latest episode. Now, let's get started with today's content. So I think most likely what we'll see is Cybertruck start production in the next year, uh, and then reach volume production in 2023. Now values Ford at more than $53 billion and GM at $51 billion. Tesla is far ahead with a market cap of over $861 billion, which is 17 times more than the two formidable competitors. Furthermore, Tesla will produce the Cybertruck in 2023. The presence of the Cybertruck will definitely make sales more explosive in the next few years. Despite the uncertainty of the release, there have been almost 1.5 million pre-orders as of May of 2022. If Cybertruck is produced, this means Tesla will have close to $105 billion in hand. Tesla's CEO mentioned that Tesla may initially produce around 5,000 Cybertrucks per week, then aims to increase this number to approximately 10,000 per week, so it is expected that Tesla's Cybertruck sales will reach $350 million a week. Tesla's competitors are also increasing production. Ford plans to produce 150,000 F-150 Lightning a year, so Ford's revenue could be up to $115 million per week. Besides that, Rivian R1T is hoping that 2023 production can reach more than six figures next year. They say that the plant is capable of 150,000 per year with an estimated sales of 202 million per week. If everything goes according to plan, Tesla's pickup truck sales could be twice as high as those of established competitors. The single motor Cybertruck, which is the last one expected to go into production, is set to start at $39,990, $5,000 cheaper than the cheapest Model 3. Meanwhile, the dual motor model, complete with all-wheel drive, was set to cost $49,990. The tri-motor, which was originally the flagship model, is set to clock in at $69,990. The newly announced quad-motor variant's pricing is still unknown since it never appeared on the Tesla website. Some industry experts are estimating that the base quad-motor Cybertruck may start at $89,900. All four models will come with basic autopilot as standard, but the full self-driving option will be available for an additional fee. That package currently sells for $12,000, though we can expect the Cybertruck will also be eligible for the $199 a month FSD subscription. The good news for those who want to own a Tesla EV is that the new bill would allow car buyers to continue to claim the current $7,500 federal tax credit for the purchase of clean vehicles. Musk said that if inflation calms down, we can lower prices for cars, but this is fundamentally dependent on macroeconomic conditions and inflation. Therefore, if Tesla does see that calming, they should be able to lower prices separate from this tax credit. It's exciting that Tesla's prices could come down after over a year of price hikes and that a new point of sale credit will help even more people afford them. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil. Doing the basic math, if you buy a dual motor Cybertruck for $50,000 in Texas, you will have to pay $3,125 in sales tax, $30 in title transfer fees, and $51.75 in license fees. But you'll receive a $7,500 federal tax credit for purchased vehicles beginning January 1st of 2023 and ending December 31st of 2032. 
So minus the fees, you will only need to pay about $55,000, including full self-driving. It's cheaper compared to other pickups. To achieve such revenue, how will Cybertruck's production plan be carried out? We'll bring a whole new level of simplicity and manufacturing improvements with Cybertruck and future products that we're not quite ready to talk about now, but I think will be very exciting to unveil in the future," Musk said. Dual motor is the most popular configuration among early birds, accounting for 47.9% of the pre-orders. Tri-motor is the second most popular configuration with a 44.8% share. Only 7.3% of the pre-orders are for the single motor configuration. Note that Tesla has not provided guidance on the actual numbers, and usually only a percentage of their reservations are converted to firm orders. The Gigapress is an amazing machine that will help Tesla reach 5,000 Cybertrucks a week. The 9,000 ton Gigapress casting machine for Cybertruck's body will allow even faster production at an estimated 60 to 70 seconds, which results in approximately 3,000 castings per day with new improvements. This casting machine is always being upgraded for maximum output, meaning the number of castings per day could increase in the future. Cybertruck production will hit 500,000 units within 12 to 14 months. This is the rate at the end of the 12 to 14 months, and Cybertruck production will ramp to 1 million units per year by the end of the 24 to 28 month mark. We might have something useful next year, but I think quite likely within at least two years. Uh, and then we'll see rapid growth year over year of the usefulness of the humanoid robots um, and decrease in cost and, and scaling up production. Next, the Tesla bot is a great technology for the production of the Cybertruck. Elon Musk says it'll be friendly and can be used to eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Giga Texas will invest in 200 bots to automate logistics tasks. Its max speed is to be 5 miles per hour. It stands 173 centimeters tall weighing 125 pounds or 57 kilograms, and its carrying capacity is 45 pounds. However, like any concept and prototype, those specs might change. It might end up coming in multiple sizes, or maybe you'll be able to purchase a custom Tesla bot that can deadlift 300 pounds and walk 10 miles per hour. So the production speed will be significantly improved and can increase up to two times normal speed. Do you believe that it will actually go into production next year? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for me. We sincerely thank you for watching today's video and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoy our videos, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and love one another.